What is up, my beautiful Marmars? I'm Marlon, you're the Marmars. Welcome. Today I'm doing 10 Walmart survival items. I'm gonna be testing them for you in the wild, away from civilization. I am stranded with just this backpack full of them right here. I don't know what any of this stuff does, but let's go survive. All right, the first thing I have is this. What is this? Let's check this thing out, okay? The first thing I have is this five-in-one survival tool. It is a compass and a whistle. Ooh, but there's also other things in here. There's a signaling mirror inside of this. What? I'm over here. Guys, like, like I'm doing it, but there's not enough sun to actually like signal here. I guess I'm trying to do it. All right, let's test this bad boy out. All right, so I have the survival whistle on my neck. Let's test out the whistle. Hello? All right, there's also a compass. Maybe if I just go north, I will find my way home. Okay, this is north. Okay, I'll just keep walking this way. Okay, now I'm going east. Okay, great. <sighs> I've been walking north for hours now, and I still can't find civilization anywhere. I'm so thirsty. It's really hot too. Oh. Mm. I'm actually really thirsty, it's been like four hours, I don't have any water, so, uh, uh, I don't have any water, so, um, yeah, so in this bag, I have right here, this mini hydration filter system. This is like my next thing from Walmart. Uh, you can actually buy it. What happened to it? Did I really drop my only water? <laughs> no! I'm really gonna die out here! I shattered the water, I gotta go pick it up. I don't No! No! I somehow shattered my only water, guys. We're really gonna die now. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. I don't wanna pollute the environment. All right, guys, so now I have this, this water filtration system. I don't know how it works. Uh, so apparently, this thing is a water filter. I can take my backpack off. All you gotta do is take this. Unscrew the cap from water bladder. Fill the bag with water. Got it. All right, so right now we're by some sort of lake or river thing. So here we go. There's a lot of dirt in this water. I don't know why, but it's d disgusting. Look at it. It's so dirty. <laughs> Ew. Uh, worst invention. How do you fill this bag with water? I'm just getting dirt. I'm just getting dirt in this thing. Come on bag, fill with water. Come on. Uh, screw the back cap on or the filter. Wipe off any dirt. They already knew there's gonna be dirt from this bag. All right, gonna wipe it off. Open the push-pull valve and squeeze the bag to dispense water. Get in my mouth. Ew, it's foaming, it's foaming. I don't have that safe to drink, but it tastes like water, guys. Let's put some on my hand first and see how clean it is. It looks pretty clean. I don't know if I trust this. This is from Walmart. Like, what if this is just a straw that goes through here and just water just goes in your mouth with dirt and everything? I don't know, I'll try it again. I think I might die, guys. I'm scared. But uh, I'm all quenched up now. I'm glad I got some water inside of me. I highly recommend the Walmart water filtration system. All right, guys, the next thing I have in my bag here is, what is this? Commando saw. That looks, sounds awesome. Apparently, this is a saw that can like cut things, which is perfect because I need to make a fishing pole to find some food. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in here. Make sure I don't litter in the environment. Close this up. This is a commando saw, guys. All right, this is sick. It's safe to hold, and I really don't get how it works, but apparently you can like cut trees with this thing, or people. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna open this. 
up like this. Whoa, guys, this is crazy. This is a commando saw. I've never used one of these before, but apparently you can cut things with it. So let's go. Let's go find a piece of stick. I need to make a fishing rod. See, this stick right here is actually too long. Too long to be my fishing rod, so I'm going to attempt to cut it. All right, this looks really wrong, but I'm trying to cut a stick, guys. Okay, this isn't working. What am I doing here? I'm trying to cut a stick. Is it working? Guys, is it working? Okay, is there something I could cut here? I don't know, sometimes I just feel like being British. I think I'm supposed to like put it on a tree and then cut. Okay, this isn't working, guys. I'm just gonna make this fishing rod this long and have my commando saw as just a cool bracelet or something. Look at it. Accessorize while you're in the wilderness. Just wrap it around like this. Wrap it around like this. And now you got yourself a badass commando bracelet. How you like that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and make this into a fishing rod. I'm gonna teach you guys how to fish and catch some food. Oh, look, 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 come here. Come here. Do you see that? See how the water's a little different right here? You see that? Just grab it. I got it. I got it. I got it. This is fishing line. I don't know where this leads to, but let's see if I have anything in my backpack from Walmart. Not sponsored. Ah, this right here. Okay, what is this? A seven in one utensil kit? I mean, that's pretty cool because I'm starving. So let's see if this works. Oh god, there's a, a predator. Get away. Shoo. Shoo. Why is he not afraid of me? Get away. Move. Move. He's not scared. Ah! Okay, there you go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I probably should have brought some scissors with me or something, but I can't open this. How am I supposed to survive if I can't even open this? Ah, I can't open it. I think we're screwed. Ouch. My hand's stuck. Ow. Uh, okay. I'm finally getting it open. Oh, yeah. All right. There's a fork right here, which I don't need that. I need this knife right here. Oh. Okay, cool. This is... The new thing, it's not a spork anymore, it's like a knife spoon. Spoon sp knife. I gotta find the fishing line. Oh god, I lost the fishing line. Where'd it go? It's somewhere on the ground here. Right here, it's like invisible. So I've got to cut it right here. <clears throat> got it. Now that we have a fishing line, grab a piece of stick, wood, whatever you want to call it, and you just want to give it, it's, this is called a Russian wrap. You just want to go around one time, put it down the middle like that, go down again, put it down the middle like that, and make sure you say Russian four times, Russian, Russian, Russia, rushing to be Russian. There we go. Now, easily, if you want to cast a line, you just want to go ahead, grab some rope like this. All you have to do, you don't even need a bait or anything at the end of it, you just have to... Now it's in the water, and now this is where the real work happens, we just have to wait. Fishy, fishy. Sometimes it helps if you just put the stick in the mud. Okay, never mind, the mud doesn't work. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. I think it just got away. Ah. Oh. But yeah, sometimes it just, it just doesn't go always, always, you know. Fishy. Oh, oh, I think I got something, guys. Oh, 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 okay, we just gotta pull real tight here. Oh, oh, something is pulling this. Oh, I'm gonna get you. As you guys can see, it's the rare biscuits and gravy. Now let's try to make it work. Okay, uh, what do I need? It says open package and add water. I need water to make this biscuits and gravy. Oh man, surviving is hard. Well, let's take my catch. And let's go find some water. I don't know where I'm gonna find that. The filtration thing kind of made me feel kind of weird, so let's go see if we can find any rare waters around here. I can sense it around here, and I think it might be somewhere nearby. Let's go. These trees are known for having tons of moisture and liquid in them. They're like aloe vera. All you have to do is just find the right leaf. You just tap them if you hear that. You hear that? Tap it, and that will show you what has liquid oh oh this one's good okay i'm just gonna reach my ah oh, oh, what was that oh it's a fluffy thing poisonous raccoons hang out around here so that was very scary okay i'm just gonna reach my hand in here and grab one of these leaves oh, yes i got one 
All right, we got one of the leaves here. As you can see, this is a Diet Coke. This is very rare. I'm very lucky to have this one today. I'm just, I'm so grateful. Thank you, plant. All right, we have this now. We now can make what we need to make right here. If you want to look at, that's what the biscuits and gravy looks like on the inside. It's uh, all dried. So apparently all I need is to add some liquid. It just says liquid. It doesn't really say water. It just says boiling liquid. Wow, it's sealed. We are so lucky today. Biscuits and gravy and Diet Coke. The reactions are starting to happen in there. The Coke, the biscuits and gravy, it's all starting to happen. Okay, great. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, yes, you just seal it up now, and then uh, you just wanna give it a good shake. Oh, yeah, it's coming out the top a little bit. Oh, yummy. Let it sit for about eight to nine seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's see how this is. This is biscuits and gravy and Coke. Oh, that looks delicious. Doesn't that look like your normal biscuits and gravy? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I haven't eaten in like four hours. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. I don't, okay, let's try it. Good thing I have a spoon in here. Mmm. Look at that. That's so good. It's very rare and your stomach's not really used to it yet, but just look at that. Uh, you just have to kind of force yourself to eat it, you know, to make yourself feel better, get the nutrients you need. Delicious. They're so good. It's very cokey and very uh, gravy y. Well, let's go find the next things we have to make. My feet are sticky. I think I got some of the biscuits and gravy on it. Uh, I'm very prone to infection now. That's why you're supposed to always wear closed toed shoes, but I was trying to be wild. Strike Force Fire Starter. I don't know what this is. Okay, Fire Starter. And you can make sparks to cause a fire. Ooh, my favorite. Okay. There's actually a Tinder kit inside of here. So I can go ahead and open it. I'm gonna try to start a fire. Here we go. This is so much fun though. I've never used one of these before. I mean, I've used these a lot, you know, like this. This is great. This is so. Fantastic. Making a fire is a lot much harder than I thought. Sparks are really awesome. Whoa. Making a fire is really hard, so let's go just try to catch some more food. There it is. There is a rare lasagna here. It is very rare and dangerous creature. Okay, we have to attack it with full force and be very determined and commit to it. Are you ready? Go. Come shh. Give me very quiet. It's very crazy. I got it. I got you. I got you, Lasagna. You guys just witnessed an encounter with Lasagna. And I've been waiting all day for it. And I cannot wait to eat it. Lasagna. Let's try it out. Okay, we got freeze dried Lasagna. Boy, that's what it looks like. It looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. Look inside of it. Looks so delicious right there. Look at that Lasagna. Oh, yeah. So you just want to grab a few of these, you know. Put them in your mouth. Delicious. Oh, so much, you know, protein, carbs. Oh, <laughs> it's not for wussies, you know. If you get freeze dried lasagna, it's re the real deal here. Uh, we might need dessert before we get some more dinner, so let's look for a dessert bush. They have them around here. They're quite normal if you're in the uh, Eastern American, Northern American side. Uh, oh, look, like right here. You have to be very careful when you pick it. Okay, I got one. Emergency food ration dessert. Oh, this is just apple cinnamon. See, it comes right fresh from the dessert bush. I've never seen anything like this. It says emergency food ration bar. So I'm gonna open this up here. Uh, oh, oh, that is so apple-y and cinnamony. This is literally a brick of food. 2,000 calories in here. Look at this. 
Wow. <laughs> I don't have any water. It's like so dry. Yummy. I love this dessert. It's one of my favorite desserts from the dessert bush. It's delicious. Look, it's right here. Emergency food ration dessert bushes. If you can find them, they're bright orange. They're very hard to miss. Um, eat my children. Eat. Yes. Eat. See, I'm feeding the environment. Wow. Wow. Yummy. I don't know why, guys, but my stomach kind of hurts. <sighs> it really hurts, actually. My stomach is like, I think I just need more food. I don't know, I ate a lot so far. Uh, this water's really green, though, if you want to look at it. Look at it. Really green, and there's like lots of black stuff in there. I don't know if that's what's making my stomach hurt, but I swear it filtered it. Oh, my stomach just hurts so bad right now, but. It's fine, let's just find some more food. Yeah, let's go do that. There's actually some more food here. You just sometimes just have to grab out your bow and arrow like this, and you can just go ahead and get ready to hunt. I'm ready for the hunt here, here we go. You have to be quiet and really relax the hand. Yes! All right, let's go get our food. Let's go before some other scavengers come. Don't forget to take the arrow, you're gonna need it later. What's on the dinner menu? We got some freeze dried macaroni and cheese. Don't worry, this time I have some of the Coke left right here. I think that's what's making my stomach hurt. I didn't actually add any water to the to the lasagna. But if you use some of the macaroni and cheese like this and you have some Diet Coke, it actually helps rehydrate it. If you see, it says freeze dried. Here's the mac and cheese, this is what it looks like. Oh, it actually looks delicious. Absolutely gorgeous right there. I cannot wait to have some more food in my stomach. I think that's what's making it hurt. Oh, look at how fabulous that looks. It looks delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh, it's like sweet macaroni. It's like dessert macaroni. It's like a Pepsi Mac. You never had that back in England. It's Pepsi Mac. This is uh, one of my favorites that my mom used to make. Oh, delicious. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, Pepsi Mac. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna have to have some more to help my stomach feel better. Yeah, here we go. Oh, 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 there's some dog feces there, so it's actually made me gag a little more. That's a normal reaction. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, whew. that's a normal reaction when you're eating in the wild. I haven't been here in a while, you know, so like two weeks, but I'd be eating things that are from the wild that have been dehydrated. This is what it feels like. All right, I'm going to put this in the pack. I'm gonna save this for later. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed all these 10 different weird survival things from Walmart. I really enjoyed trying them out for you guys today. Make sure you guys leave comments below on what I should try next and where I should go to try things next. I had a great time doing this video. My favorite thing in this whole entire video was the freeze dried macaroni and cheese. It is so delicious. And of course, I'll see you guys next time for another new video. Peace!